Hello and welcome to the training tonight. I'm Vic with Sosi Snap. Tonight we're going to be talking about doubling your YouTube traffic. If you have a YouTube channel that has motion, take these strategies. This is what I did personally to double my YouTube traffic, which already has quite a bit of traffic in the last 30 days. Without any further ado, let's go. Double your views on YouTube. That's the goal. That's what we're going to be talking about. I achieved it. My channel's views are up 198% due to more interest in one of your videos. Now, what's interesting is the work that I did on my channel had nothing to do with that one video. And you can see my stats have gone up from the average views from around 1100 to around 3400. And that's purely because there was motion happening. When you click onto your YouTube studio and you click on analytics, that's where you get this type of data. And they have a little balloon, a little bubble where they basically show you how many hours of watch time do you have. So if I can do it, you can do it. So the question I asked myself when I was putting this presentation together, and what did I do different than last month? Well, I looked at what I did and I said, well, I'm not just uploading my stuff. I was uploading stuff from my PlayStation. I was uploading stuff just because it felt like I felt like uploading it without any particular reason. I uploaded five public videos and a bunch of private videos. All of my videos I uploaded were completely unrelated to the actual video that got the most views. And I placed a video ad, but I was working on my channel culture. And over the next few weeks, we're gonna go more into channel culture. And that's basically identifying what kind of videos your culture of your channel wants. It drives me crazy when marketers say, talk about target marketing. I would say, let's talk about engagement marketing. Because nine times out of 10, what I've seen over and over again, doesn't matter where it's on Facebook, doesn't matter if it's on YouTube, you're missing your target. What ends up showing up is what shows up and who's interested in what you have, okay? So that's an engagement marketing approach. And you're gonna hear me talk a lot about that. Target marketing has this idea, I'm making this video and I'm targeting this audience and my goal is to reach people in that audience. And the problem with it is it may miss the target. And in reality, it will probably miss the target 80, 90% of the time. But if you go with engagement marketing, what you're doing is you're creating content and you're observing instead of targeting. You are focusing on what the public wants to see rather than what you want them to see. So what's your channel about? You want to think about that. Who is your audience? Not who do you want your audience to be. You want to say who actually is your audience and then adjust accordingly. Maybe you might want to abort your channel and create a whole new channel. Once you have a certain direction with your channel, it tends to stay in that direction. On my channel, the more, majority of people are those who like rock music. And that's just because the greatest number of views of my video is a video that I uploaded that happened to all of a sudden go viral. What's most of my content? Music videos I shot from concerts I attended. So what is the goal of my channel? Well, I've shifted it. It's into telling the story. How you can generate your first million views without a lot of effort. That's the goal of my channel. And to encourage you that guess what? Your content may not be as good as the Doobie Brothers, and that's okay. You can still have a channel that is one of the top channels on the internet in the planet of Doobie Brothers videos. In my case, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't targeting that. That just happens to be what happened. My goal is to sell SociSnap. That's my software. And to sell my Tube Relevance training and to attract affiliates and to teach my methods. 
That's what my channel is about. Channels evolve. And my counsel to you is just get started with something. I started my channel about blogging. It was about video blogging. I wrote an ebook called Video Blog Sensation. It was just about a really simple idea. Take your YouTube video, embed it on your website, and run traffic to it. And I went back to my stats today and I looked that I uploaded nine videos in one week. When I first started my channel, I just uploaded nine videos. And guess what? These videos, three of them, are still the number one videos that are in terms of traffic on my entire channel. I got lucky with one video. My thinking back then was, well, if I upload, let's say, five or six videos that are really high value branded content, that's going to bring me some traffic. And then I'm going to upload a network marketing video to promote the company I was promoting at that time. And I got lucky. One video got 40,000 views organically. And then I used my software that I invented in 2012 called Search Triggers to tweak the title of that video. And it went from 40,000 views to um, 1 million views very, very quickly. And now that one video has 1.8 million views. Well, yesterday, I went into SociSnap and I added italics. I added bold and italics using SociSnap. And this is what it looks like when you search for Doobie Brothers Listen to the Music. You can clearly see, and I want you to get this, okay? Out of all these videos, which one is getting the most attention when you're just scrolling through the screen? Peter, do you want to comment about how obvious this is? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like, hello, you know, sledgehammer time. You know what I mean? It's, um, it's crazy. I, 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 you know, I've used this, this um, product and it just blows me away every time I use it, how simple it is and, and just how much it makes everything pop off the screen. Just look at this compared to the other three or four that are on the screen. Does it pop off the screen compared to the other ones? I'm right. like, hell yeah, right? right? This yep. is the official, you know, from Warner Brothers, 2.2 <laughs> million views. And this is this crazy dude named Vic with 1.8 million views, <laughs> right? Yeah. And even the, the channel's official live video only had four to 61,000. Now, there's a couple of things. Number one is my thumbnail. Take a look at what this is right in here. What am I showing? What is that a wall of? Hot chicks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what does my video have that none of the other videos have? Good looking women. Exactly. I mean, I hate to be so superficial, but I mean, that's what, it, let's call it what it is. And all the other videos, even though I have 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 views on those videos, none of the other videos actually had the wall of women coming up behind the band. And I hate to be so blasé and sexist about it, but that's just the way it is. In our next session, if you're watching the replay, we're going to talk about the top three tips that doubled my channel in the last 30 days. I'll see you in the next video.